Pompeii, and folks, we are excited to bring it to you in a special thank you to our friends at Holbrook Heating Incorporated, our title sponsor here this week, for bringing it all to you. Folks, we have got a great night of rodeo in store for you tonight, and your rodeo is important, and I want to tell you why. I want to explain to you why this rodeo is crucial to the rodeo athletes you watch in this arena tonight. Here in the summertime, in the hot part of the summer, is what we call the summer run in professional rodeo. It is the busiest time of the year. The athletes you watch in this arena tonight, some of them will be jumping in a truck as soon as it's over to head to another rodeo. They are wearing out horses, wearing out Dodge trucks, and wearing their bodies out for one thing and one thing only. They want to find themselves in the top 15 at the end of the year in a trip to the International Finals Rodeo in Guthrie, Oklahoma. You got to be in the top 15 if you want a shot at over a half a million dollars they're going to pay out in Guthrie come January. Now, we all know it takes more than great cowboys and cowgirls to have a great rodeo. It takes great livestock. And this year we are blessed to have the Painted Pony Championship Rodeo in town. Their award-winning livestock has not only been featured at the IFR, but the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo, the NFR Open, the First Frontier Circuit Finals. They are the premier stock contractor in the northeast part of the United States. To have them on board. So all I want to know is one thing. Are you ready to have a little fun? Make some noise for me. Well, folks, before we get things started, we like to, in the world of professional rodeo, we slow things down and we pay respect. And I've got a question I want to ask each and every one of you. How many of you still believe we live in the greatest country God ever created? Hey, honey. Folks, I'm just like every one of you. you. I hear all the negativity on the TV and I, okay, I hear okay. the bad things they have we to are say about here. us. We have space for but one fact still remains. There's a the reason each stand. and every day people risk on their the lives to come the sun to the shines of on this true. country and this dream. We are the so greatest we're, country we're, we're of the opportunity. Guy, the guy's talking. And we are blessed, and I do mean blessed, okay. to be a part of Coming the United in. States of America. So right now I'd like to swing the gate and introduce you to a lady that's over 200 years old. As she makes her way into the arena, I want you to take a look at her and I want you to think about all the places she's had to go that she probably didn't want to. I want you to think about all the things she's seen that she didn't want to have Woo! to see. The American flag. But as she makes her way around, there's one thing that happens every single day, no matter where she is, the world over. All around the world, they know she is, without question, the greatest symbol of freedom anywhere in the world. So folks, there's nothing in flag etiquette that says you have to be quiet as you bring her in the arena. Sorry. So how about one sure. time we make some noise for Old Glory? <laughs> folks, that banner stands for freedom. And one of the greatest freedoms we enjoy under that banner is the freedom to pray any time and any place that we see fit. So right now I'd ask you to join along with me as I go to the Lord with a Cowboys prayer, followed by our national anthem. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you for this day and the opportunity to be here at a rodeo. You know, Lord, as Cowboys and Cowgirls, it's not always in our nature to ask you for special favors. We won't ever ask to draw around a shoot fighting horse, one of those head slinging bulls, or even a steer that won't play. But Lord, all we do ask is that when we take that last inevitable ride, the one that goes to your country up there, where the grass is always green and stirred high, and the water, well, it's running cool, clear, and deep, that you, Lord, as our final judge, will tell us all that our entry fees are paid. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen.
know, folks, it may be a long time since you've done it, but I'm going to ask you to do it tonight. What do you say we all sing along like a choir of one to the greatest song ever written? For this is our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming who's brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Championship Rodeo, your stock contractor of choice here this weekend. Also, a big thank you to Justin Boots for all they do for Pro Rodeo. Folks, in front of, in front of you are the time to bet Cowboys and Cowgirls that you're going to watch in this arena tonight. I think we got them all in front of you. How about a big hoop and holler and tell them welcome to your town. Ah, uh, yeah, Pompeii is a cowboy town on a Thursday. Like I mentioned at the top of the show, it is a big weekend of rodeo. There's rodeos all over the Empire State, and it is going to make a huge difference in the championship standings when we get it all done here today as we send them out of here. Get a good look at them, pick out your favorite, wish them luck, because this is big time rodeo and it's got a big time impact as we get set to go. We'll send them out the back gate and we will head down to the bucket sheets for the first real event on your rodeo program. It is the most physically demanding event in pro rodeo. I'm talking about the rare back bareback riding. The toughest cowboys in the game. You're about to get a look at them as we get started with a Montana cowboy. Anaconda Montana sends us Bucky McAlpine. Now this boy has come a long way to get some New York money and I want you to help him get a little bit of it. Now first jump out of the chute He's got to have the heels of those Justin boots above the point of the shoulders. If he doesn't do it, everything after that doesn't make any difference. One hand in a suitcase style rigging. Judges are looking for how well he spurs his control. When we crack the gate, let him hear you. Come on. Great, baby. 
the crowd to set the pace. We're going to get you some numbers. Now my judges are looking for that spur in motion. They're looking for the control. Half the points come from the cowboy. The other half come from the animal. 34 on your side. Hi, okay. Bo. 69 points to start things off. 69 for my mom's animal. That'll work. Zoe, come here. All right, let's go to Tyler Waltz. Come up here. Veteran fairback rider oh. right here. This guy has got some of the fastest feet in pro rodeo. Watch right here. Come on, Tyler. Folks, I told you we had great livestock. The painted pony puts one on the ground. How about we make that guy feel a little better? Kristen! No score. Kristen! I think you figured out why we call it the most physically demanding event in pro rodeo. Look at the size of that horse. Look at that rigging that he holds on to. That's 1,200 pounds of horse. Yanking on the end of your arm. What do you say? A big round of applause for a Montana man. 69 points. He's going to be your champ in the fairback right as we get things kicked off. That was off. hot work. Here tonight. Wow. Wow. What a way to start, folks. Before we do anything else, I got a man that I want to introduce to you that is a, not only a good friend of mine, one of the toughest bullfighters to ever come out of the northeast part of the world, one of the most sought-after entertainers in the game. How about a big round of applause for Mr. Phil Hussman? Yeah. Man, did you see that? I did. That was impressive, all the bucking and kicking. Yeah. Yeah. What have you been up to, Blue? Man, we have been rodeoing. It is the summer run, the hottest time of the year. Everybody's blowing and going. Multiple rodeos happening, and we've just been busy as we can be. Me too, man. I did get a little break this morning. Yeah? Yeah, I went to that Destiny USA Mall. All right, Air right. Juice. Yeah, you're never going to believe what happened. What happened? I was walking along, minding my own business. Yeah. And I came across this little old lady sitting on one of the benches. Right. And she's just bawling her eyes out. You're kidding me. Yeah. So, Blue, I knew I had to stop and do something. Yeah. So I Annie, looked at her. I said, Can you just hold this for a moment? And like she you. looked up with tears in her eyes and said, like this. I just lost $200. And that hit me. Oh, my gosh. That's knew, terrible. Yeah. I knew I had to do something. So I reached deep in my pocket, and I pulled out $20, and I said, ma'am, here you go. And as I walked away, I knew I had done the right thing. Absolutely. Yeah, Good for I, you, Phil. Because I had just found $200. Oh, well. Who's ready to have a good time this afternoon? Oh, I should have known when I let that guy start talking it was going to be a problem. All right, let's move down to the town event side of things and bring in the big men. It is Steer Wrestling. Now, for those of you that are new to rodeo, this is the only event in pro rodeo where you actually get a helper. That's Dan Paladino. Right the the other cowboy on the left-hand side. Now, his name is the Hazer, and his only job is to run alongside that steer, keep that steer running straight so that my cowboy can slide off that good horse Catch that steer by the horns, slide him to a stop, twist his neck, and lay him on the ground. And that's where we're going to stop the clock. Now, I want you to pay attention to that rope they're going to stretch out in front of that box. That rope is called a barrier, and its function is to give the animal the head start. In all our timed events, the animal always gets the advantage. <laughs> As we start with a great cowboy, probably one of the greatest cowboys in the Northeast. I'm talking about That's the one right. and only John Lyon. Hey, so he's saying hello to our friend. You watch, be your say circuit hello. champ. Hello. Multiple you qualifications. Say, yeah. Not only the circuit finals, but for the <laughs> NFR Open Ram National Circuit Finals. This guy is a cowboy's cowboy. I don't care if you're talking about riding wheels, steer wrestling. So the, the it makes it's no the product difference. of my love. This you're my guy wife. is one of the best in the business. Aspers, Pennsylvania is where he calls home, and I want you to watch this guy. We could be fast right off the bat. Come on, John. I 
told you that guy was good. How about a 5.4 to start things off? 5-4. <laughs> Phil, you think you could be a steer wrestler? I know for a fact I can't. And let me tell you why. Because I tried it one time. Oh, yeah? I, I practiced. Yeah. I found my buddy with this big old truck. Yeah. And I got on the running boards. And we found this back country road. And I told him to hit 35 miles an hour. And the first mailbox I saw, I jumped off and tackled it. <laughs> and two weeks later, when I woke up in the hospital, I decided Tyson makeup for me. Yeah, that's that's about what it's like. That's a that's a good analogy. Oh, like getting on the running board of your truck, go about 35 and grab a mailbox. All right, let's go to Kirkland Rainey, Metcalf, Ontario, Canada. This is one of our Canadian Cowboys. Woo! Making his way down here to New York to get a little United States cash. With the exchange rate, I bet it's a whole lot more money. <laughs> All right, Kirkland. You know the deal, five and four is in the lead. Can you be faster than that? <laughs> Lots of good cowboys come out of Canada, make their way down here to rodeo in the States, and this is one of them. Danke, dass ihr zuschaut. Thanks for watching. Now, pay attention to the horses riding. These horses are trained to back into that corner, and when they get the signal, they leave there like a rocket. They get just as amped up as the Cowboys do. Look at the ears on that horse. He's trying to calm him down because that horse knows it's just about go time. Here we go. Oh, oh. Kind of reminds me of that Top Gun Maverick movie. Hit the brakes, he'll fly right by. I bet we give my Canadian friend a little love anyway, huh? He can hit the brakes like you said. Yeah. Well, I've been here seeing that. No kidding. That's just like old Maverick. All right, we're going to go to Gregory Hopkins, Stillwater, New York. How many of you would like to see a home state cowboy win all the money? Yeah. I like to find out where everybody's from. We got anybody from Pennsylvania tonight? Many kinder. Okay. Christian. Show Catherine your hair. What about native New York? Ah! Right here? Right here. I knew that would be thick. Only about my third trip to New York, and I'll tell you some of the prettiest country you ever want to see. It is indeed a pleasure to be here with you. So here we go. Next one. We hit the Gregory. Getting ready. Having a little trouble getting back there. Now I want you to watch Gregory. He's wearing a protected vest. Because if you've noticed, when you get off that horse going about 25 miles an hour, first thing that horn does is hit you in the ribs. Not a bad idea to wear the protected vest. It'll keep you healthier, keep you going down the road and give you more chances to make a little money. There we go, one more and then we gotta stop. These cowboys and cowgirls, they are professionals. This is how they make their living. Riding a new horse here tonight. As you can see, the horse is a little, a little over anxious. You'll have that sometimes. New horses are kind of like college kids. Sometimes they go to the library, sometimes they go to the bar. You just don't ever know. <laughs> you know? So, that's kind of what we're dealing with here. How many of you, this is your very first rodeo ever? Make a little noise. Oh, my goodness. We've been to Boise, Idaho, Zoe. So we... Zoe. So we... Been waiting on me? Last year, okay. Boise, okay. Idaho. Well, I tell you what, I am glad to be in New York and be rodeoing. There's so many good rodeos going on right now in New York. Of course, they're always rodeoing up at the Painted Pony. If you've never been to the Painted Pony, you need to make so a trip So one more time, there. then we got to stop this. The next Every time you got to get here. Every the summer, they're rodeoing Watch Wednesday it. through Love Saturday. the horse. So you, you can get your belly full of rodeo right up there at the Painted Pony. Right now, they the Painted Pony is contracted. they got the rodeo going on in Gary, New York. Cowboys are... Ooh. 
trying to make all of them as we get set. Looks like Gregory's got everything lined up. See what he can do for us. He got everything lined up now. And then we're going to go live again. Yeah. Oh. oh. Holy cow. Did y'all see that? <laughs> that was a pretty athletic move to get back in the saddle. They're going to ride around there, and he says, you know what? I'm going to try to put on a show for the fans, see if I can get my hands on him. Yeah. You hear that whistle right there? Time out. He ran out of time. Entry fees down the drain. He paid about $100 to do that for y'all tonight. Y'all give him a round of applause. but we're going to go to Matt Fisher, another Canadian cowboy from Edwards, Ontario. Okay, we're going to watch now, one I've more. I've got some good inside information that Matt's the kind of steer wrestler that can be faster than five and four. This cowboy won him a check at the Painted Pony last night. He's here tonight to get another one. You heard me talk about that top 15 and what it takes to get there. And this is a guy that's looking to make a move right here. Kind of on a hot streak. Matt, let's get us a little money on a Thursday. Oh, kids, let's go. Trying to get everything set. There's the nod. Let's go to work. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. How much noise can you make for 4.3 seconds? Come on. See you later, guys. Here's the deal, folks. Before we start, I need a little something from you. I need everybody to back up a little <laughs> further from the fence. All the young ones. Behind the stones because each and every year the sports riders of America vote bull riding the most dangerous sport in the world. When you play a team that dangerous, you better have the best of the best in cowboy protection. And I've got them in the house tonight. I want you to make welcome one of the top cowboy savers in professional rodeo. Right down there in front, say hello to Mr. Jacob Jackson. Well, as we get set, I want to know, do we have any bull riding fans in the house? Come on. Pabalam, oh, get ready, Pabalam, Pabalam. All right, Woo! let's start in Canada. This is James Mackey. He has drawn a handful of painted pony bulls. They call the Skull Country. Come on, New York, let's help him. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Well, we're one up and one down. Don't let that boy out of here without a little something from you. Rank livestock is what the Painted Pony is known for, and they showed it to you right there. All right, let's go to Colton Brown. Come on, let's get that rhythm going. They feed off of your energy. The more noise you make, the harder they ride, the harder they drive. Come on, Colton, let's ride a bull. A performer, APRA champion bull rider. This is a guy that wants to go to the IFR. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Colton. I'm going to look down to my pro officials. I'm getting a thumbs up. They said he made it. Woo! That a boy, Colton. Beep. 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 
72 points going to be the number for him. 72. All right. I think we're going to 805. This is downtown Jay Brown, the man we're talking about. Two of again. I and there's two more watching. New York Cowboys. Here we go. Magic try. DJI. Colton Matheson is my man, another Canadian cowboy. Chesterville, Ontario, Canada. Now, for those of you that are new to rodeo, trust thank me you for watching. Has as many great cowboys as anybody in the world. They race the good ones north of the 48th parallel. So far, we're pitching the shutout. The painted pony is putting them on the ground. We don't want Sean Graham to get his chest out too far. Let's ride one. Oh. They stick their hand in that flat braided rope. You see their buddy pulls it tight for them. They lay the rope. Across the palm of their hand, wrap it around the back, just like that. And then he'll lay it back across the palm of his hand. Literally tying himself to it. Put a leg on each side. And, keep and here we go. to protect his head. So you're telling me he's trying to protect his head Yeah. that told him it was a good idea to get on a bull? <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid so. I think that ship has sailed. How many of you know Parker Markle? All right, Parker. Here we Parker. go. Cincinnati's New York Cowboys. We got to ride a bull, Parker. Come on. Let's go. I right, go. Whoa. Watch it. Whoa. Thank you, Jacob. Whoa. Boy, oh, yeah, a little tough luck for my man. Thank you all for that round of applause. He appreciates it. Okay, let's say here comes the last one. All right, can we get? 
bitte teilen bei dir auf der Seite. Heiko Effenberger! Alright, this is the deal. Final bull rider of 2023, and I need everybody to give me a little help. What do you say we get up on our feet? Let's stand up and stretch our legs for my man, Daddy Overholzer. He has got a handful of painted pony bucking balls, and we're going to stand up and make some noise for him. Nothing Woo! is cooler than to ride the final bull on the final ride. Come on. Folks, oh. one more time, Jacob Jackson steps in there and saves lives as he tips his hat. Y'all love on him a little bit. Well, folks, as we pull the curtain down on rodeo, how many of you had fun at your hometown rodeo? Well, folks, on behalf of everyone at the Painted Pony Championship Rodeo and our friends at Holbrook Heating Incorporated, your title sponsor, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming out and spending the night with us at the rodeo. You don't have to run off. Go buy those vendors, get you something good to eat, cold to drink, and we will see you on down that rodeo road. Thanks for watching. This was Alligator Tours. Heritage Hill Brew House. Woo -hoo!